In this video I'm going to show you how to safely jack up and remove the road wheel on a Volkswagen Golf Mark IV. This would be the same process for a lot of the other Volkswagen models and also some Audis, Skodas and possibly Seats. The first thing you need to do is make sure the car is parked on a level surface. You need to be able to chock the rear wheel. If you're working on the front left, chock the rear right like this. In the absence of folding metal chocks like these, you can always use a trusty house brake. Next thing you need to do is remove the wheel bolts. There's caps over these, as you can see here. And these need to be removed before you can get a socket on there. That's what this tool is for, that you find in the tool tray in the boot. Just hook it in, like so, and pull them off. Yours may not still have those on there, or yours may not even have alloy wheels, so you may be just going straight onto the bolt. Next thing you need to do is remove the lock and wheel nut. Now in this case, We've got this tool, the splines on the bolt fit in there like that. They come in all shapes and sizes so yours may be a little bit different. Take your wheel brace and place it over the socket like that. Now what I tend to do is keep my one hand there so it's pushed in and one hand there because locking wheel nuts do have a tendency to slip or break so if you do this it limits the amount of movement it's got. Now this wheel brace is telescopic so I'm going to push it out there, hold that there, and then push down. Do the same with all the others. Do opposites each time. So loosen them so they feel quite loose, and then just nip them back up. And then one more. There's five all together, including the locking wheel nut. Now the reason we do that while it's on the ground obviously the wheel can't move when you're trying to undo them. If you try and do that while the jack's up in the air then the wheel's going to spin. Take your trolley jack, it doesn't have to be this size, you can get a smaller one as long as it can take the weight of your vehicle. Slide it under there and you need to line that up on the sill around about by here there's a little notch and that is where the jack should be. If you look underneath there's a strengthened bit of the spot weld there on the sill and you'll be able to see exactly where the jack can go. Once you've lined it up, slowly pump the jack so it just meets the car. Then once you're sure it's in the right spot, keep going. Keep going until the wheel is right off the ground. Take an axle stand like this. Make sure it's not resting on the bottom like that and it's on the first notch and then place that under the vehicle. Your axle stands might be a bit different to this. These are ratchet axle stands. Yours may have a pin in them. The best place I've found for an axle stand on the Golf is just on the subframe mount by there. Lower the jack on this when you twist the handle but all jacks are different so I won't go into how this particular jack works. So as you can see the weight of the vehicle is now on that axle stand and the jack is there, loose. But I'm gonna leave the jack right where it is, just in case for any reason that axle stand was to fail, then that jack will catch the car. So the wheel's now free to turn. It's up off the ground. So start with the lock and wheel nut. Just give it a tap, and that's loose. Go the opposite one, give that a tap, and that's loose. Then tap, loose, tap, loose, tap. And they should be loose enough now that you can pull this out and just use that. Another way of doing it for the lazy person is this. But I wouldn't recommend it. This is much easier, really. So, should have started with this one, really. Take the locking wheel nut out first so you know, there's no pressure on that. As you can see, they're slightly different type of bolts and not as strong as a normal one. Let's put the wheel nut and the lock together. And the wheel should be loose enough now, as you can see. So hold it in place so it doesn't just fall on the floor. There we are. Wheels off. What I always do, the wheel under there, under the side I'm working on. The axle stand's got the car, but if anything fails, the jack's got it. And if it really goes belly up, the wheel will catch it. The wheel won't be much cop after, but at least you're safe. So refitting is the exact opposite of removing it. So we take the wheel. On there, you can see 
There's lots of smaller holes, but there's only five with the threads in. So line up those with the bolt holes on the wheel. Now the wheel's heavy. If you line it up, slot it on like that. If you look through, you should be able to see where the holes are. Make sure your bolts are handy. Just pop that in finger tight. Do another one opposite. Maybe pop on the lock and wheel nut now. Leave your lock and wheel nut on there for now. Take your wheel brace. Just nip them up. Do opposites. So the wheel's ready to go down on the ground now. So make sure the jack's in position. Just give the jack a couple of pumps to take the strain off the axle stand. Remove the axle stand and then slowly lower the jack. Remove the jack. Okay, all that's left to do now is do the wheel bolts up. So start with the lock and wheel net and just nip that up. Don't put too much pressure on it. They can be brittle. That's quite a good one actually. Go opposite then and do that one up. Now I tend to just lean on it. I don't use a torque wrench on the wheels. You can if you want. The torque setting is just below now. I just go round them all now, check they're all done. Now in all the years I've been working on cars, never had a wheel bolt come undone, and I've always used this sort of technique. Slot the caps back in. They go on all of them, except the lock and wheel nut. There we go, job's a good one. I hope you find the video useful, and it's given you the know-how on how to remove a wheel and jack up a Volkswagen Golf Mark IV safely. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe.